Look who's here, everybody. You made it. Our next guest is known for having an eye for fashion, but also he has an expertise in stre also stretches into photography, a little bit of photography. Please welcome back to the show our good friend, Christopher Straw. Hey, it's great to finally Woo! be back in studio. I know you're back. We didn't give you the fake applause. I'm sorry we used it all up I'll in the back of the right segment. segment. Yeah. Thanks for coming in, Christopher. Uh, but this is, I love that we're doing this because yeah. I've never said this to you. I should have sent you a note. You, your Instagram, Schmistifer. Schmistifer. Your photography Instagram. really is beautiful. I have fun with it. It's a hobby. It, it is. That has actually won me some awards. Yeah. Yeah. And as, as someone, as an amateur, I love photography right. too. You do an amazing job. You take a lot of pictures of dragonflies. Yeah, the, lots of, <laughs> it's things in my yard. It's dragonflies, it's ducks, it's frogs. I'm the Annie Leibowitz of tree I know. frogs. I, I, you're, I, can, I can narrow you down. This is how I think of Christopher. Right, right. Fashion. Okay. Dragonflies. Dragonflies. And animals with life choices. Yeah. <laughs> with like life dilemmas. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. you. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Because of my children's books. Yeah. A, yeah. Well, but it, but it's, but what's great is it's really accessible because it's something that we all have yep. in our hands. And I don't, I don't do tons of editing. They're, they're just tips and tricks. I have tips and tricks that I'm going to show you that you can use to make any of your photographs better. Number one, clean your lens. This seems oh, obvious, my I friend. I mean, it's, I'm showing you a before and after. This is without cleaning the lens first. So that I schmutzed up the lens a little bit. But look at the clarity that happens once I've uh, clean this lens. Look at those There's ducks. No editing. This is straight from the camera. This I'm using an iPhone 10, which is four years old already. Oh, really? Yeah. So I don't even have the newest best. So you guys can do this at home with with just what you, you have in your hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You deserve I the best. I know. I know. I know. Okay. Number two, <laughs> get low. What do you mean by this? Get low. Change your perspective. So when we talk about when we especially look at. Um, uh, things in nature. We're so used to seeing it from up above. So here's just a clover flower in my yard. Look what happens when I get low. It really changes perspective on this item uh, or whatever is in your yard, whatever the subject matter is. So uh, I'm taking a picture there, but look at here. I'm going to show you a before and after. So this is the before. Oh, look at this flower in my yard would be what people would normally post. But once you no get, offense, that's ugly. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> but once you get low, look what happens. So now it's storytelling. And look, right when I took this photo, a little bug popped on there. So he's off to the left. So now it's like storytelling. You planted that bug, don't you? Uh, yeah, th that bug did not follow direction. <laughs> Number three. Because <laughs> it would have been facing the camera. Tap to focus. Tap to focus. A lot of people don't know this. So if you have, especially an iPhone, I'm going to open it up here to my camera. Uh, when you tap the subject matter, whatever the subject is, that's what's going to uh, come into focus. So here's, my, here's a video here. So this, I found this frog just yesterday in my yard, because uh, there's lots of frogs. I tap on him, and it focuses on him, but I also notice that there's a bug off to the left. I can tap on the bug, and the frog becomes out of focus. So you can use that tap to focus to do storytelling, because now the focus is on the bug, but there's this ominous motion happening off to the side. None of these are edited, it's just cropped. And that bug has moments to live. Right, or if I, if I tap on the frog, look at all the detail, the richness, again, no editing besides cropping on this one. And uh, do you basically have a nature preserve in your backyard? Wait, have you, you've been to my house. I've been to your house. You, I, you haven't gone in the, ba <laughs> in, the no. in the back half. Yeah. yeah. Right. I haven't been yeah, invited, Yes, there's yeah. a preserve. Lots of frogs. Yeah. Lighten frogs. and darken. This is a, this is a fun, uh, fun uh, thing that people don't know all that much about. But if you, like I talked about um, pressing to focus, if you press and hold, you can actually slide your finger up here. Let's see if I can see it on, let's see. You can lighten and darken what? the images live. Live, like before taking your, your photo, you can lighten and darken them. Seriously? So these are great for low light settings or high light settings in order to, in order to focus on one thing. If I wanted to take a picture of, uh, of this light fixture in my bathroom, let's say I'm going to show my aunt this, um, look at how I can change this live. So I can, instead of it being completely blown out and white, you can actually get the detail. That's my kid. I don't know how that slipped in there. <laughs> <laughs> Gee. Uh, that's Michael Hart at work sewing. That was not, uh, that, I did not have to lighten or darken this photo. But here we are. There it is just straight out of the camera. 
But if I want to get in and get that crystal detail, I can get close, I can tap on it, I can lower the light, and look at this. So there's all that crystal okay, detail. Okay, where do you tap? I honestly, and I, you know yep, me, I'm yes. pretty techie. I did not know this tip. Where do you slide again? Right, okay, so I don't, can we get a close shot or no? This is about as close all right, as all right, yeah. all right. Here, let's say, here, I'm, I'm moving the set, Go set around. All right, so if I wanted to um, focus on just that plant. Yeah. So there we go. So I pr see I press and that little square pops up. If I press and hold, that square is going to flash. There you saw it. Yeah. And I can slide my finger down here, down and up to change the light levels that it is receiving. And I can still go around. I, that's happening live. That's not after the shot is taken. Because if not, then you have to go into an editing software like Lightroom right. or Apple's own. Uh, and we, that could be the next level of this. So we're going to start. We're crawling. We're crawling. We're learning to walk. And then uh, I'll take you, I'll show you some amazing photos and you'll be running in no time. I was going to say, because uh, do you use any editing software? Um, I do it mostly in uh, Instagram. Okay. Yeah, but never filters, because filters reduce I hate, I hate filters. clarity. They reduce clarity. Yeah. Um, I like to use the filters kind of built in, uh, in, yeah, not the effects. We have about 30 seconds. You're right. going to be at the fair, I hear. Uh, yeah, the fair happens. Uh, Minnesota State. Fair. I'll be in the grandstand. It's my inaugural. You're performing? Year. No. <laughs> oh. What yeah, the, you don't have you're to buy. singing? No, no, I'm not. Uh, I uh, second level of the grandstand. There are lots of um, makers and Minnesota businesses in that second level. So I'll be there. You'll be there. I, I wish you were performing though. Uh, me too. I do. <laughs> <laughs> singing the hits of the Bee Gees. It's Christopher Straub. That's me. For more information, follow Christopher on Instagram. Say it with me, Christopher. Christopher. And at ChristopherStraub.com, you can get all of his products. Uh, he's our buddy. We love him. He's family. Christopher Straub. We have more family members. Thank you. You know her. You love her. You want her to sing to you. Aaron Schwaberini's coming up. That's right. We'll be back in a moment.